Hi guys, this is Maggie from Magnificent Tarot, and I am back with another soulmate reading. This time I am doing the sign of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, um, Mercury, Jupiter, and North Node as usual. I am excited for this reading. I've been seeing a lot of Sag energy in my readings. Um, but before I start, I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you to all of my subscribers. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your likes. Thank you for your comments. New subscribers, thank you for joining me. Thank you for viewing my page. And if you haven't already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. Also, you guys hit the notification bell so that you can be alerted um, every time I upload a new video. Also, I'm on Instant Go. Please hit me up on Instant Go. I have added new services. Um, please check the description box for all the information on how to contact me via Instant Go. You can also send me a direct email or you can DM me through my um, Instagram account at Find the Magnificence in You. And you can also direct message me on Twitter, same name, Find the Magnificence in You. But I just wanted to say thank you for everything. I'm so appreciative of all the love and support. All right, so let's get into the reading here. Um, so I did a nine card spread as usual. Um, the first three is the past. Second set of cards represents the future. I'm sorry, represents the present. I said that in the last video too. Represents the present and the last three cards represent the future, potential future, future energies here. Um, and the, at the bottom of the deck, I had the King of Cups um, energy, and that is going to be the overall energy of the reading today. Um, for me, I feel like I'm reviewing these cards. I found, it, I found it very interesting because I already see here in the first three cards here in the past position that there was some type of a reconciliation here with somebody from the past um someone felt like it was a victory to reconcile with this particular person here um this could be aries leo here energy that i'm getting and i kind of feel like This person found it to be a vic it was a victory here because it's something that so this person wanted to do. This person wanted to reconcile, and the reason I'm saying that this is a past lover because I feel like and this is in the past position, and this is talking about um, reminiscing here. And this card here, the Two of Swords, talks about reconciliations. So this is why I'm feeling like there was a reconciliation. You thought this was going to be a victory, um, but you realize here that it was not a victory in the past whatever this particular relationship was not a victory or so uh, there's a group of you guys that are wanting to reconcile wanting to come towards someone here with the six of wands because as you can see he is facing the two of swords here which is a feminine energy or a feminine um picture here um you're afraid to come towards because you're afraid that there won't be a set success here with the nine of cups now with the first scenario i feel like there was a reconciliation but there was a stalemate due to complacency one of the partners is very complacent you feel like the relationship is dull and i feel like that victory um turned out to be something that you weren't expecting it, it turned out to be um the nine of cups energy in the reverse it, it it was not a success here is what I'm getting with the past cards here. Like I said, this is Leo Aries. Maybe you were dealing with a Leo Aries, um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or Aquarius, Scorpio, or Pisces here. Okay, so into the future position we still see i mean i still see the indecision here because i have the seven of cups right beneath the two of swords here for me i feel like the page of wands is showing up here um basically because there is a realization um 
that there's something needing to be addressed in this relationship because this is bringing a message. This is, um, I feel like you want to say something about the situation. You want to come towards the person and say, you know, how you feel. And you know that there's something that needs to be addressed here because of the complacency. There's stagnation here with the Knight of Pentacles. Um, but I feel like there are still some indecisions on how you're going to address the situation. Also, I kind of feel like there's a decision to end this relationship. And the reason why I'm saying that is because the nine here is denoting a completion. This is denoting some type of cycle that needs to be ending, ended here, the seven of cups. And I feel like you're trying to make a choice, but you don't know what choice to make. You don't know if you want to break off the relationship or there's an attempt to make the relationship work, but you're not fine. You didn't find success in the past and you're still trying to hear from me. I feel like you're trying to, uh, try to hold on, on uh, to a fantasy maybe here with the seven of cups. There's a fantasy that somehow that this relationship might work out is what I'm getting. But with the nine of pentacles here in the center here, right beneath the um, nine of cups in reverse, I feel like there is, hasn't been success or the success is coming along very slow because it's a slow steady progress here with the nine of pentacles. And again, like I said, the other scenario is for me, like you were coming, you want to come towards this person in the past. You couldn't make a decision because you were, there was a fear that there wouldn't be a victory, that there wouldn't be a success in the relationship that caused a stalemate. I feel like you want to come towards this person with a message here in the present. You want to communicate this, but you're coming at us very slowly and you're still making a choice. You're still trying to decide, should I, is this just a... A fantasy this is delusional this person doesn't want to be with me or maybe you're just still lacking the confidence here because the page of wands is a lack of confidence to come towards that person that's for another group of you guys here and then um, as far as signs here like I said I see a lot of in this reading Virgo um, Libra Aquarius against Scorpio here with this section of cards um for the present um so there's two distinct scenarios and again this can be the cross watchers cross um it can be the cross watcher so cross watchers if you're looking at this this could be you dealing with a sagittarius person you're feeling like they became they have become complacent they the relationship is dull um you thought this was going to be a victory in the past you thought that this was going to work out, you're going to get your nine of cups, your wish fulfillment, and you realize this is not what you wanted. And that's why they say, be careful what you wish for. <laughs> that is the, the, the reason why, because there's a stalemate here, there's stagnation, this person is dull, this person is um, complacent here. And now you're trying to make a choice on what you need to do. Do, should I stay, should I go? Can I make this work? And I kind of feel like you're trying to work at this and you're you're trying to be positive and you're trying to think, um, you're trying to come to a resolution, but I feel like here with the Seven of Cups, you're kind of like, you're lying to yourself. There's some disillusionment. And you might be lying to yourself about this situation here because here we have in the um, future position here with the Nine of Swords here. Um, now the future is a potential and I feel like the potential for you here is, oh, if I break up with this person, there's going to be a loss here. There's a fear of loss. There's a fear of despair. There's a fear of maybe a failure, maybe failure without this person. Maybe you're codependent here. Um, and once again, we have the two, not tools in a reading, two tools, there's two of them. Um, cause I do use numerology means that there is this is a committed relationship so this this for me here because i have here um the ten of cups top for me is marriage here and i kind of feel like this is either a commitment a marriage that has become stagnant your partner has become complacent and you're you're trying to decide whether you want to be in a uh, marriage or not you're trying to decide if you want to divorce this person or not or this could just be you being in a relationship 
um, with someone. And this is a soulmate reading, so this is strictly for people that are dealing with people romantically on an intimate level here. Um, so yeah, I feel like you're, you're trying to come to a uh, decision because you're not fulfilled here with the uh, Ten of Cups in a reverse position. There's no fulfillment. There's no contentment. You're basically not happy. And I feel like the Two of Pentacles is denoting that this has become an obstacle. There, And the reason I say obstacle is you are still trying to figure out why things are not going as planned. Why didn't you get your wish? Why didn't? Why wasn't this a success here? And the obstacle is, how are you going to break off this relationship? Because I don't feel like someone is putting in the work trying to make the relationship work. I feel like you're the only person here with the Knight of, Knight of Pentacles really trying to progress this relationship and take this in a positive direction but i feel like one of the partners is not there's no balance because this is why this is up this is in the reverse there's no balance someone is giving more than the other somebody is being complacent somebody is stubborn here um and somebody doesn't want to want to change basically and this is causing a, a really big strain on the relationship here and with the ten of cups this is talking about breakup, separation. This could be speaking of a fear of separation, or this can be speaking of an intimate, uh, imminent, sorry, um, breakup in the future because you're not happy, because there's no contentment. Um, there could be some deceits here. I see deceit. Um, the person, the person you're dealing with, yeah, like I said, is very stubborn here, and. You know, and like I said, it could be a Scorpio that you're dealing with. Now, what I wanted to bring up here is the numerology here. And like I was saying with this card is there's an ending of a cycle that has to happen. And I feel like the indecision and the fact that there's a there's stagnation is causing the cycle not to end. Because as you can see, we have the same story repeating itself here. Indecision, indecision, indecision. We have the Two of Swords in decisions, the Seven of Cups in decisions, and the Two of Pentacles in the reverse in decision here. We would also have, um, well, what I feel like too is because of this card, these two cards together, I feel like it's a soulmate relationship with the Two of Pentacles here because this is an infinity symbol. This talks about companionships here, and I feel like you feel like this person's your soulmate, um, and you don't want to break it off. And this goes, this is not for everyone. This is for whoever this resonates for, resonates with. Um, you don't want to break up the situation, even though there is some inner conflict here with the two of swords. You don't want to break it off because you feel like this is your soulmate with that soul, with that um, two of pinnacle cards in the reverse position. And this is someone, and I, I, me personally, the reason why I'm looking at this as a past lover. Um, coming you dealt with before is because it's in the past position. It's in the first position here. And this talks about reminiscing here. Um, so I always look at that as past. And I, and I look at it based on the combinations of the cards that I have too. And I'm looking at the numerology here because I have two and two here. And then I see completion here. I have the this one talking about cycles here because you're stuck in your head trying to make a decision. But I have this here, the nine of swords. And I have this here, 10 of cups. And in between it, I have the two letting me know that there is an ending of a cycle, but you're still juggling here. You're still, you're prolonging it. There is some stagnation. And, and because of the indecisiveness, this is causing a hindrance. It's hindering the cycle from, uh, it's causing the cycle not to close out here. And you're just going to keep going in a loop, just like this picture here with the, you're not gonna be. You're not gonna reach a decision. You're you're at a stalemate here. Um, I wanted to tie in the overall energy because I didn't do that in the beginning, and that was for a particular reason. Now, like I said, with the other scenario, we have the group that were afraid to come towards the other partner here. Because they're because this is like you're trying to build up your confidence here. Because this is confidence here. This is success, victory, triumph. 
feel like you're trying to build up the confidence to come towards this person, but you didn't, you're in your head, you're unable to make a decision um, because you're, there's a fear of that. There's a fear that there won't be a successful union because this is talking about a reconciliation. This is talking about a union. This is talking about a union. Um, wishful thinking here. You want to come towards this person here, but the Knight of Pentacles is letting me know that it's, you're taking a long time. Or somebody's coming towards a Sagittarius. And like I said, it's just two different scenarios I'm seeing here. People in union and people that are not currently in union. You want to come towards someone with a reconciliation. Um, that's denoted with the Knight of Cups. Because that's why I saved this for last. You want to come towards somebody with an offer, but you're in your head about the decision. You don't know if you should come towards that person. Um, you're lacking confidence here with the Page of Wands in the reverse position. And you kind of feel like, and you, right now it's like a fantasy. It's a fantasy of yours. You're fantasizing about the whole, how, how this is going to work out. You're fantasizing about having this with the person. But imminent future, this is your fears here in this particular quadrant. Because this is like a um, my special layout for me. Um, in this particular corner here, this is your fears. Your fear is that there won't be a union. You're juggling the idea, but you're afraid. Now you're in regret. You're disappointed. Mostly at yourself because you don't know how to come towards this person here with this offer. Now... My, the advice here is there's, the cycle has to end. There's no balance here. Um, there's no harmony. So this makes me feel like it's unrequited love. That's for the second group, by the way. It's unrequited love. And I feel like that's why you have the nine of swords here and you have the two of pentacles. It's unrequited. And then it ends with the Ten of Cups. And I feel like the advice is that you um, need to move on and let the cycle end. If it's for you guys trying to make a decision of ending the cycle, trying to break up with this person, or thinking about should I break up or should I not break up, I feel like because it ended with this card, um, there is an uh, imminent separation because there's no contentment, there's no fulfillment in the relationship as it stands here first Sagittarius Sun Moon Rising people or the cross watcher here so that's the reading for you guys your soulmate reading um please um check the description box for information about contacting me for private readings um please check my discussion tab on my channel page for updates about my services and please comment like and subscribe my to my video um, like I said, hit me up on Instant Go or send me a private email if you have any questions. Thank you for watching.